The holidays are here and it's time to celebrate with potluck parties. Whether you are taking food to a party at work, school, or the home of a friend, you need to make sure it arrives safely. Follow these tips to prevent foodborne illness from catching a ride to your potluck party. First, keep your kitchen clean as you prepare your potluck dish. Wash your hands before and after preparing the food. Use hot soapy water for 20 seconds to get rid of germs that cause foodborne illness. Wash countertops, dishes, and utensils with hot soapy water and clean up spills with a paper towel. Second, if you are cooking a dish that contains either meats or poultry, you need to cook it to a safe internal temperature. Do not partially cook the dish. If you are cooking chicken or turkey, cook it to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Cook roast pork or ham to 160 degrees Fahrenheit and all casseroles to 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Use a food thermometer to be sure your dish reaches the correct temperature. You cannot rely on color or texture to tell if it is cooked thoroughly. Remember to keep your potluck dish out of the danger zone. The danger zone is between 40 and 140 degrees Fahrenheit, and it is the range of temperatures in which bacteria grow well and cause foodborne illness. Keep your hot dishes hot and your cold dishes cold. If your dish is meant to be kept hot, wrap it and seal it well and place it in an insulated container or bag to keep it hot until it is time to be served. If your dish is meant to be kept cold, place it in a cooler with ice or frozen gel packs to keep it cold until it is time to be served. If you are not able to keep the dish out of the danger zone when taking it to the party, then take a dish that is less risky, such as nuts, fruits, breads, cakes, or cookies. The holidays are a time for fun, tradition, and sharing, which should not include sharing a foodborne illness. When preparing for potluck parties, remember these tips to help keep out those unwanted guests from ruining your holiday season. To learn more, contact your county extension agent and follow the links in this section.